Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> Judy! Judy! Yes, ma'am? Stop doing whatever you are doing and check the girls' uh -huh. hands and dresses. Everyone has to look perfect in front of the council members. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hello, my name is Judy. I live in this orphanage. Today, the council members who sponsor our orphanage will visit us. We are very busy cleaning and tidying the girls. No rest for me. It's a lot of work. The council members just left, but the principal is calling me to her office. What did I do wrong? Oh, one of them is still here. <laughs> What a tall shadow. <laughs> he must be so tall. <laughs> I have to go, I suppose, and face the scary sponsor. Did you see the man who just left? Uh, fortunately not. Only from behind. He is our wealthiest sponsor. He got interested in your essay about melancholy Wednesdays. Especially because today is Wednesday. Oh, oh, well, uh... I find this essay ridiculous and embarrassing for the orphanage, but he liked it and proposed to give you a full college scholarship just because of this piece of preposterous writing. Isn't that preposterous, don't you think? Oh, college? For me? Oh. That tall, ugly man thinks that I can become a writer and gave me a college scholarship and living expenses coverage. Unbelievable! All I have to do is write him a thank you letter once a month. I'm so happy. I believe I can fly. This is the girl's dormitory. I'm writing the first letter to my benefactor. I do not know anything about him. His name is John Smith, which cannot be real. All I know is that he is very tall. I've decided to call him Daddy Longlegs. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Judy? I wanted to see where Sally was going. Uh, uh, of course. Sally and Julia are my new college friends. Sally's very laid back and friendly. Julia's a little stuck up, but it's not her fault. She's from a rich family. I am already homesick. What about you, huh? I I'm fine here. Is that a letter to family? Uh, in a way. I did not want my new friends to know that I grew up in an orphanage. <laughs> Miss Judy, here's a parcel for you. Really? From whom? Oh, it's from Daddy Longlegs. How nice. I told him that I had the flu, and he sent me a little cheer-up present. I did not even think that he read my letters. I was so excited that I sent him another letter right away. <laughs> Please meet my uncle, Mr. Jervis. Come on, say hi. N nice to meet you. I am Julia's uncle and have come to see the college. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I have class right now. Would you please show my uncle around the building, Judy? Uh, it, it will be my pleasure. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, really. I gave Mr. Jervis a tour around the campus. It seems that he enjoyed the tour as he kept smiling. I felt very easy with him, like I've known him my whole life. We had a heated discussion on gothic literature over our afternoon tea. It made my heart flutter for no reason. Look, Judy has been selected for the short story contest. Wow. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> I am happy for you, Judy. By the way, my uncle wants to invite both of you to New York. You're talking about Mr. Jervis? Yes. He said he would book a hotel room for you. He also bought tickets for the new production of Hamlet. He is a very generous man, isn't he? Hmm? Hmm? Uh, I'm overexcited. I've never been to New York, and I've never been to a real theatrical play before. The world is a happy place. I should write to Daddy Longlegs all about it. We are in New York. What can be more thrilling? I finally saw my first play. I cried through the whole last act. Mr. Jervis was very kind and understanding. I, I will never be able to thank you enough. Yes, thank you for everything. <laughs> I enjoyed our time together and wish you a safe trip. 
<laughs> Judy, now it's my turn to invite you. We will go to our vacation house, ride a canoe, you will meet Jimmy's friends. We'll have the best time there. <laughs> oh, thank you. It sounds wonderful. Jimmy is Sally's brother. He's a very nice young man. I met him before when I visited Sally's family for the first time. I wrote Daddy Longlegs and told him I'm going to visit Sally's family again. Aww. I'm staying at a farm belonging to a friend of Daddy Longlegs. I received a letter from his secretary telling me to reject Sally's invitation and come to the farm instead. I tried to ask for permission again, but it didn't work. Sally has written to tell me what an exciting time she's having at her vacation home. Oh, I have no one to talk to here. Miss Judy! Miss Judy! Uh, I have a letter for you. Oh, isn't this great? You should open your letter quickly. Oh, Mr. Jervis? Uh, he told me that he spent his childhood on this farm. I'm so happy to see him and talk to him again. We made our way down from the mountains and headed for the Watch farm. Out, Judy. Uh, oh! oh! Oh, be oh, careful! I, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, he caught my wrist just in time and didn't let me fall. <laughs> we went riding through the forest together uh, and then laid out a picnic in the shade of an old oak tree. Mr. Jervis and I had a wonderful time together, but I had to come back to college. Today's the college's anniversary, and there will be a dance to celebrate. It'll be my first ball, and I invited Jimmy. Uh, thank you for asking me to come, Judy. I'm sorry I only danced with you twice. There were so many people here. It's more exciting to dance with several different partners, isn't it? Well, I feel a bit bashful. <laughs> I really enjoy the party, Judy. Would you like to visit my house next time and camp out? Oh, that sounds wonderful. But first, will you go with me to the university dance next spring, Judy? Oh, I would love to. Judy, I think Jimmy's interested in you. <laughs> Mr. Jervis came to visit our college again, but the timing was very unfortunate. Uh, hello. <laughs> Oh, Uncle, why didn't you write to tell me? Judy and I are just off to Princeton University right now. I'm so sorry, Mr. Jervis. Uh, Princeton? To visit Jimmy? Uh, I won't keep you then. Uh, I'll see you later. I'm sorry. Oh, I felt very awkward. <laughs> Judy, have you noticed how often Mr. Jervis comes to visit now? <laughs> I suppose he does. I have a little confession to make. Uh, uh, tell me. Mr. Jervis and I have been writing to each other since last winter. I haven't told Julie yet. Uh, so Jimmy has a rival now. <laughs> I'm a senior now, and I'm writing for a magazine. I write to Daddy Longlegs regularly. The novel I submitted to the competition has been rejected, although they have praised my writing skills and have encouraged me to keep going. I'd hope to give Daddy Longlegs a nice surprise before graduation. He must be disappointed, too. Oh. Congratulations, Judy. Uh, con congratulations. Uh, thank you both, but what, ab what about, um... Mm -hmm. Mr. Smith apologizes that he cannot be here today. He sent you these roses to congratulate you, Miss Judy. Aww. Uh, Aww. What's wrong, Judy? What's wrong? Hmm. I'm at Rock Willow Farm. Mr. Jervis is here, too, and he says he has something important to say to me. I wonder what it is. Judy... Um, I'm listening, Mr. Jervis. Would you consider becoming my wife? Oh, Mr. Jervis! I don't think I can. I, uh, well... Do you not like me? Oh, no, Mr. Jervis. I, it's not that. Please, Judy. I can make you happy. We are such good friends. And I, I know... 
I wish I could accept, but I... it's... Can't you just tell me why? What's wrong? Uh, it isn't you. Is it because of Jimmy, then? Uh, I understand. Forgive me, Judy. Oh, I had to refuse him. I do love Mr. Jervis very much, but an orphan has no right to marry someone like him. I couldn't make myself tell him the truth, and he left the next day without saying goodbye. I will finally have the chance to meet Daddy Longlegs. Unfortunately, he is very ill. Mr. Jervis is also ill with pneumonia. I'm very worried about him. Excuse me? Uh, Miss Judy's here, sir. Pfft. Come in, Judy. Are you surprised? Huh? Did you really never guess that I was Daddy Longlegs all along? Didn't you think of it? Mr. Jervis, of course. I, I should have seen it sooner. Oh, how could I have been such a simpleton? I... Judy, I know why you turned me down. You said in your letter that it was because you didn't want to admit you were an orphan. Oh, Mr. Jervis. My dearest Daddy Longlegs, a.k.a. Mr. Jervis, I am very happy and truly in love. Judy? Judy? Yes, ma'am? <sighs> Tell me, when do I get to meet your charming Daddy Longlegs? Hmm? Uh, well... <laughs> The Wonderful Adventures of Nils. The Steadfast Tin Soldier. The Sea Turtle and the Hare. Jack the Dullard. Maya the Bee. The Giving Tree The Adventures of Tom Sawyer Three Thousand Leagues in Search of Mother Alice in Wonderland The Selfish Giant